Hello， 大家好，今天呢，我来到呃一位美国记者朋友的他的棚呢，他的棚嘛，对，你的 studio， 是，是、yeah. 是是是是是,是，对，两个外国人讲中文，我觉得好有趣啊、哦，对，好好玩，奇怪吧，还好，我觉得还好，<笑>还好还好，介绍给大家 ，Tony， 呃 ，from America， Hawaii， Hawaii， 夏威夷，嗯，夏威夷很漂亮的地方，对，很美丽很美丽的地方 ，You are working for Taiwan News， 对。Taiwan English Xinwen. Mm-hmm. English Xinwen. And now uh, we're gonna have a interview together. You're gonna ask a couple of questions about my life in Taiwan, about the culture in Taiwan, and also the procedure of、uh, having Taiwan's ID. Ah, 对 Okay. 这是最难、最难的事情。哎，还蛮还蛮辛苦的过程，但是蛮好玩的。是啊，是吗？我觉得还蛮好玩的，蛮有趣，蛮有趣的。拿到了之后的感觉就是很爽。啊，对。我相信大家看完了我们的这个访问之后呢，一定会更了解这个过程，也可以更了解台湾，因为而且是内容是英文，所以我希望可以分享给大家，让更多会听得懂英文的朋友们都了解。OK， 我们要开始了吧 ？Are you ready？ 开始。OK， let's go。Hello， this is Kony Everington from Taiwan News， and our special guest today is Rafat，、uh, who is also known by his Taiwanese fans as Wu Feng。He's a TV show host and comedian。Who's originally from Turkey, but he's lived in Taiwan for 12 years. On Wednesday, he officially received his Taiwanese citizenship. So, before we ask you about the process of receiving your Taiwanese citizenship, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I, I'm here for 12 years.、Uh, my name is my full name is Ur Rifat Karova. I'm from Turkey,、mm. and then I came here with the scholarship of Taiwan, and I studied here.、Uh, my, I did my master here. And I start the work in Taiwan, and also married in Taiwan, and I have a daughter now, and she is two and a half years old. Ah, and so was it the scholarship program that brought you to Taiwan to begin、yes. with? Yes, the Minister of Education. Because in Turkey,、uh, I study Chinese. It was my second university. I study Chinese.、Uh, after I finish my school in Turkey, I know that Taiwan Ministry, Minister of Education、uh, of Taiwan, are giving scholarships to Turkish students, and then I applied, and they gave me. I got the scholarship, and I came to Taiwan. For further studies,、mm -hmm. and what interested you in Taiwan? Why, why Taiwan? First of all, when I was in Turkey, because、uh, of Chinese study, I know that、uh, Taiwan has a nice environment, safe, and my、uh, some of my teachers they were from Taiwan, and the dean of my department also study in Taiwan. So、mm. I knew Taiwan is a good place for study, and one of my Uh, in Chinese, they call it Xuejie, right?、Mm. One of my uh, classmates, mm. like uh, older classmates, she was living in Taiwan for almost two years, and she was keep giving me a lot of information about Taiwan and the scholarship. Because as a student, we always want to have a scholarship with the good money, good quality of life, and a good education.、Uh -huh. So I always keep asking questions to her, and she gave me perfect answers.、Hmm. And I believe that Taiwan scholarship is the best for my further studies, and so I choose Taiwan. Ah, that's, that's wonderful. Now, how about your Mandarin skills? How did you get so good at Mandarin? I always think that my Chinese is good, but I never say that my Chinese is perfect.、Uh -huh. But I entertain people because、hmm. I used to be a travel guide in Turkey、huh. in German and English language.、Hmm. So always I always used to speak another languages with the people. So I like to entertain people. So、uh, my Chinese skills are good for entertainment business. But I'm not a I'm not a like translation guy. Some people they know every proverbs because they got the study of like translation.、Hmm. They speak more and better Chinese. But my skills for entertainment business, show business, is really good because I like to entertain people,、mm -hmm. and I like to learn languages and the culture. So whenever、uh, I go to any place like Taiwan or any city in Turkey, I like to be the part of that place, like part of Taiwan. Now, how about dialects? Can you speak like Taiwanese or Hakka? Or I just speak a little bit Taiwanese. A little bit, a little bit like in Taiwan they call Tamboa, Itian, Jidam Diama, like Jidam Diama. But I always like to、uh, to learn something new、uh -huh. and then share with the people because we are from、uh, another countries、uh, because we are Western-looking people.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, in Taiwan, I would like to share from my angle. And from my perspective, the funny stories to the people, so they like this kind of style, so they accepted me, and it's a kind of good thing for me. So, what got you in show business? Wow,、exactly. <laughs> it was it was you know it was actually kind of、uh, surprising for me. The first thing、uh, 
I got the job from the uh, state te television, Gong Gong Gen Shi. Ah. Uh, when I was walking on the street, one day they said, would you like to be a part of in a documentary? Mm. But at that time I was in Taiwan maybe for a couple of months. Huh. So they came up to me and they asked me the question, I afraid of these people because I don't know if they are going to cheat me or they're going to, you know, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe, maybe they're going to kidnap me. I don't know. And then I asked more questions. They said, I can go to the, you know, audition. Mm -hmm. And I accept the audition offer. Uh -huh. And I went to audition. And then uh, it was a real. They were doing documentary about Taiwan. Huh. Yeah. And the name of the documentary is uh, Taiwan Rumin Delicia, the history of Taiwan mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And I became George Leslie McKay is a oh. Canadian oh. dentist, the missionary, yeah. came in Taiwan like 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I became that guy mm -hmm. because he's also <laughs> like me, a bear without, without hair, bald hair. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because we look very similar. We look very That's similar. That's how they picked you out on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah because in Taiwan, this, you know, the, the, they, don't have, they don't have like a lot of uh, like documents or data for the foreigners. Okay. So they were looking foreigners on the street. And they found me on the street as a George Les Leslie McKay. And then I checked the guy's photo. I said, oh, it's me. Like 100 years ago, because we look very similar. That's interesting. It was the first time. And then I liked the environment. It was good to make some money, mm -hmm. like Dagong, you know, the part-time job. Uh -huh. But the professional, I get in the business because of the, also, State TV. Mm -hmm. They were looking at host. Because before, they were always looking for foreigners. But after uh, 2011, they were looking for one host ah. to be part of the show. Okay. And then I became the part of the show for like three or four months. Mm -hmm. And after that, my show, what I uh, do right now, mm -hmm. I want her, I walk her. Ah. They uh, offered me a job, the opportunity to become the host ah. of their show. And then I started professionally to do mm -hmm. a primetime TV show in Taiwan. Ah, that's wonderful. You have any tips for people interested in getting in the business? Uh, first of all, you, you need to show yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to st you, you need to join some communities. For example, I was I used to do a lot of stand up comedy mm -hmm. at that time. I was always looking for opportunities. For for example, they can go to the like audition offices, like uh, agent agent uh, companies. Mm -hmm. They can uh, start to apply a couple of jobs, so they can try to get close to the environment. They can mm -hmm. get close to the show business, mm -hmm. and if they have the job, they need to do their best like entertain people show your own skills because we are not coming from hollywood yeah right yeah we are not coming from yeah. hollywood we yeah. cannot compare with the hollywood style of acting or mm -hmm. hollywood style of entertainment because mm -hmm. i'm not a jimmy kimmel right, right. <laughs> it's different it's all totally different it's all totally different right. so they can they can create their own style and try to entertain people mm -hmm. once you entertain people the uh, show business guys the managers or maybe tv station the owners or the boss uh -huh. anyone they notice that you are doing something something special so they can offer you uh, better chances but it's very very few because of the size size is very small in mm -hmm. taiwan we cannot uh, we don't have like like mainland china we don't have like very like america mm -hmm. we have very few cho uh, chances i mean they need to sacrifice many things because i spend a lot of times ah. like maybe seven i i wait almost like seven seven years mm -hmm. to have a like hosting opportunity in Taiwan television. Seven years, it's wow. not easy. Uh, now, you did stand up as well. I did. Uh, do you think you could do a little like example of a, a joke? Sure. Because there's one joke that you do. I can do it in Chinese, then you can translate it in okay. English. <laughs> All right. Because, I mean, as I said, it's a, in your country, it's different style. Uh -huh. In my country, it's different style. And in yeah. Taiwan, in Chinese uh, society, it's different style. Uh -huh. So, uh, I always uh, tell a story, a joke in front of the audience and they like it. Yoyen uh <laughs> I don't know, I mean, you, you can't translate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I had a girlfriend, <laughs> and a Taiwanese girlfriend, we dated for six months. But after six months, she said, uh, I want to break up. Yeah. And he said, why? Why do you want to break up? And she said, because uh, you're a foreigner. And he said, uh, didn't you notice that when we first started dating? 
<laughs> so that's, I guess, it's a kind of a little bit of a difference, maybe, too. But, yeah. but actually, this is a real story. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, this is a real story. I mean, I, I tell the stories, actually, from all my own life. Uh-huh. It's from all my viewers, own, uh, yeah, like, own stories, own experiences, and I put some humor inside and uh-huh. share the story with the people. So the people like it in their life because they think uh-huh. that it's real right. and it's close to their life. Now, getting to the citizenship piece, yes. um, it's, it's difficult for foreigners to get citizenship without having to relinquish their own mm. uh, original uh, passport. So how were you able to do that? How did that work for you? Actually, before 2016, we couldn't make it because this is actually a law that already fixed. Mm. And before this law, we couldn't make it because you need to quit your own citizenship. I mean, own country's uh, passport. Mm-hmm. But after the law, when they fix the law, they put a kind of uh, sentence. They say that the people, the foreigners who live in Taiwan with a professional uh, background in some field who contribute to the society, they can apply to the Taiwan citizenship and they don't need to quit their own citizenship. Mm-hmm. So most of the people, actually, even Taiwanese people and the foreigners, they don't know. Mm-hmm. They think that I'm here for 12 years. I married a Taiwanese girl, so I can get the I can get the ID. Mm-hmm. But it's not that because you need to do contribution, and you need to stay here. And uh, Nei Jinbu, you know the two units, mm-hmm. uh, Nei Jinbu and the what is it, Wen Hua Bu has to accept your uh, application. Mm-hmm. Ministry of Interior, maybe. Kind and of Ministry of Interior, and, the, and then uh, the cultural cultural, cultural because okay. my part. My part, because my field, I'm doing for entertainment and the culture part. Mm. So I can apply the, that field, but I cannot apply for technology. Mm. Every uh, field has different items. For example, I don't know the others, but in my part, it was like uh, getting an award. Ah. Because if you don't have any award from the country, mm. it's a bit hard to apply. This is the first item. And the second item, they check what kind of things you did for Taiwan. For example, I wrote three books in Taiwan and one book in Turkey. It's mm. what it was about the modern history of China, mm. and I was the ambassador of Taiwan technology products in Turkey, and I was uh, I was always in Turkish television promoting Taiwan's technology to the Turkish audiences, mm. like CNN Turk, uh, and in all, I mean all the other Turkish famous TV stations. I was inside for the special programs for introducing Taiwan's uh, products. Also, I'm doing TV hosting and then including uh, cultural things. I've been to all the temples, always promoting Taiwan's culture to the people. And also our show is very famous in uh, Malaysia and also in Singapore. These things also helped me also like stage, what you already mentioned. Mm-hmm. I did stage shows. I uh, created the you know, stand-up comedy in Chinese. Mm-hmm. I did the, the Minister of Defense Theater. I mean, many stuff, many stuff, plus my education. And then my wife, two years ago, she started to collect all my papers one by one. Huh. She asked, she asked everyone for the information because it's a long procedure. Uh-huh. It's not like, oh, okay, I'm married, I have these kind of things and I'm applied today. It's not that. You need to collect all the papers, that the photos must be special, everything, the details must be on the papers. Mm. And then you apply. But once you apply, you need to wait for the procedure because Nei Zhengbu, right? The Ministry of I mean, Interior, or Interior something. Or something. Yeah, the, yeah. the first unit says, okay, and then the Minister of Culture, they need to also accept it. Otherwise, you cannot get it. Huh. So, two different government organizations, they have to say, they have to say, okay, then you can get, the, wow. you can get the citizenship, and you don't need to quit. Yeah, it's wow. kind of yeah hard. You did it. Now, how do you feel? How do you feel that you're? I'm so to... I'm so happy first. Yeah. And wow. I can't feel like relaxed because, I mean, getting Taiwan ID kind of made me the part of Taiwan because I really love this place. I try to uh, do good things for Taiwan society. I try to uh, build better things for the Taiwan. Mm-hmm. And once I get the citizenship, I feel myself like, okay, now officially I'm part of Taiwan and I can vote. I can talk more. Mm-hmm. Because before you want to say something maybe about the country's future, about the, you know, the system, mm-hmm. they always say, I need a white boy and you're a foreigner. You don't need to say that. Mm-hmm. But now, as a foreigner, I can be the part of government mm-hmm. because I have that right. Mm-hmm. So I can join the government, I can go to vote, I can be, I mean, maybe like Li Fa Yuan. Mm-hmm. You know, you know I, oh yeah, you can run for office. I can, I can run for office, anything. Uh, so I can do more stuff mm-hmm. for the government. Mm-hmm. And plus, uh, my, my wife is from Taiwan. My daughter also has double 
citizenship mm -hmm. from Turkey and uh, Taiwan. Sometimes when we go to Europe, I'm from Turkey, I don't have visa. Mm -hmm. I need to apply a visa and I need to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So my wife and my daughter can go that country, but I cannot go. <laughs> so I need to ask for visa, but I cannot get in that country. Uh -huh. It's a big problem. Huh. So now I have a ah. Taiwan uh, ID, Taiwan passport, mm -hmm. so I don't need to ask I mean, I don't ask. I don't need to ask all the time. I don't apply the visas all the time. Ah, so you go all the places the Taiwanese people can go, basically. Yeah, I can go. Great. For example, in, in two weeks, I, I'm gonna go to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. For example, if I go with the Turkish passport, I need to have a visa. So if I need to take visa, I need to apply. I need to spend money. I need to wait. Mm -hmm. It's a bit marathon, you know. All right. Yeah. So that's why I when I use my uh, Taiwan passport, so I can go and come to Taiwan easily. It's much better for me. Hmm. That's great. Yeah. Uh, any uh, new projects that are coming up in the future? First of all, uh, I would like to introduce more about uh, my country, mm -hmm. like Turkey, because in 2018, in mainland China is the uh, tourism year of Turkey. Oh. I think it's a good opportunity for me to introduce more about uh, my, uh, like my country's uh, tourism mm -hmm. and my country's beauty, the history to the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really want to get more opportunities from that uh, organization, from that, you know, uh, I don't know what is the, I, from that uh, event. Uh -huh. And then uh, I'm gonna continue to do more TV shows. And I'm going to, in these days, I'm creating more YouTube things, like online videos. Mm -hmm. And these kind of things, I think uh, I need to do more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do these kind of things more. And then the rest, uh, after I, uh, like spent like a couple of months later I want to go to Turkey for a little bit holiday I want to stay in Turkey a bit uh, longer because I want my daughter learn uh, a bit more Turkish ah yes yeah that would be good because in entertainment business you cannot make a lot of plans you never know what's gonna happen next thank you very much Rafat for coming to our show thank you much I appreciate it thank you for watching Taiwan news and we'll see you next time